Hey everybody, this is Eric Clark's Travel Videos again. I'm uh, I'm gonna go to another castle today. It's called Gourk in Egg. Gourk and Egg. Gourk and Egg. I think that's pretty close. I, you know, the names are really tough. I don't know how you, I mean, I could, let me just, just so that you know, here's how to spell this. G-E-W-E-R-K-E-N-E-G-G. -G -G. Gourk in Egg. I think I'm pretty close. Gourk and Egg. And it's, uh, it's supposed to be one of the top five castles in uh, Slovenia. I'm heading there. You can come along with me and uh, see if it's something you want to do. Thanks a lot, everybody. Bye-bye. Okay, everybody. I'm at uh, Gorkin Egg Castle. And it's really, the place is called Irja. Id, Idrija. Idrija? Irja? Um, but it's got some interesting facts about it. Um, and here's, you should pause it if you want to read all that. It's the um, second largest mercury ore deposit on the globe. It's uh, original link back to 1490, blah, 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 blah. It's the only uh, metal that is liquid at room temperature, 13.6 times heavier than water and twice as heavy as iron. Pretty amazing stuff. But uh, these are all the things that are in the city itself. And uh, here's a map of it. And I'm over here at the castle. So I'm going to do the castle. And uh, I don't know, maybe I'll do the square and the city part here too. Um, but uh, anyway, so let's go do the castle. Let me figure out what uh, is in here and we'll go from there. Thanks. Okay, everybody, I'm in here buying a ticket. And it's $7? Seven, Seven euros. euros. And then, uh, and what does that get you to see? Just the castle? You get two floors of the castle, it's for exhibitions, okay. uh, all about 500 years of mining and the history of the town, all about 20th century, why is it in the UNESCO inscription, and all about the Adria Lace. Okay, and it's really all because of the mercury, right? Yes. Right, second largest in the world? Yes, second wow. largest mine in the world. The largest is in Spain, in Almaden. Okay. And together they're listed in UNESCO World List of Heritage. And what else is there to see in town? Do you have a map? Yes. Show me on a map. Thanks for your information. Yeah. So, okay. this area is all in the UNESCO, whatever is around. So, mm -hmm. uh, we are here in the castle. This is where the government of the mine used to live. So, we didn't have any nobility but the government of the mine stayed here. Okay. Um, so then you can go into the mine, it's over here. It's the Anthony Main Road. Um, you get 20 minutes of film, then you get a helmet, a jacket, and you go for one hour into the underground. Okay. Then you can also visit the miner's house. So how the miners lived. Um, those houses you cannot see anymore in town. Then you get all about the machinery of the mine, so the steam machines. Okay. Then you can also visit this over here. It's a huge wooden wheel like this. It used to be a pump to pump the water out of the mine. It's very Because the mercury was the heaviest part, right? Yes. It would settle on the bottom. Yes. Okay. Huh. Um, that. Then you can go to the smelting plant where okay. they used to um, smelt the mercury, where it burned the, the cinnabar ore to get the liquid foam out of the stone. And what is the church on the hill? That's kind of interesting, huh? Yes, that's the church of St. Anthony, and these are the small stations of the Holy Cross, so okay. how the Jesus was crushed the protector of the miners. Okay. And then what else is in this? So I can walk from here down to like, this yes. is Old Town down here? Yes, this is five minutes walk. Okay. And, and what's walk. in here to see? Anything? Is there? Yes, you can also have a look to see all about the lace. So you have the lace making school. Um, the lace? Lace. Uh, it's what women made. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, here we go over here. Lace, okay. Yes. Interesting, okay. Yes, the men were mining and the women were the making The women laces, okay. Yes. Thanks for all your information too, okay. by the way. So you can buy lace in town, you can try some good zlikrofi, uh, that's a speciality in Idria. It's a very good food. It's like okay. ravioli, but it has potato and ham inside. Mm, okay. So you can do all And what's it called? Town. Zlikrofi. Zlikrofi. Yes. I haven't had lunch yet, so yes. okay, maybe I'll yeah. go there, okay. Yeah. And cool. I can give you a coupon and you get a uh, Idria dessert. Okay. Yeah. And what, that was a famous, like, what dessert was that? Because I read somewhere there was a dessert. Uh, but yes. It's like a cheesecake? No, it's like... Uh, uh, you can also get this cake. It's cake. It's a rosy cake. It's lace cake. on top. Okay. It's got lace on top. Yes. Okay. And these are the 
And what do they put on top of it? Nothing? Whatever you like. Oh, okay. You can get it with meat, you can get meat it with sauce. cheese, you can get it with sauce, you can okay. get it with cool. all sorts of things. Okay. All right. Well, I guess I'll stop recording and buy a ticket. I appreciate all the information. Thank you. Okay. So this is the man who found mercury here in this forest in 1490. Uh -huh. And he found it in the water. Uh, so mercury is the only liquid metal that stays liquid by the normal room temperature. And um, you can find it in two forms. One is the native form, the liquid form, so what he found, but then you can also find it in a mineral, in those red rocks. You'll see it later on. Okay. Um, those red rocks had to be crushed and heated up to 800 degrees, and that's when the liquid form comes out of the stone. Okay. Now, How come there was liquid here then and not... And not yeah. The stone. So in the geological time when there were um, volcanoes, um, this mercury that was already heated up um, stayed liquid because when it's when it's liquid, it's really hard to get back into the solid. Oh, rock. okay. Um, you need special chemical process to get it back to the A solid. State. Yes. Okay. Otherwise, it can freeze by minus thirty-eight. Minus 38 degrees, yes. okay. And it evaporates in 350 degrees. And it's poisonous, and then it, you get, it damages the nervous system. Yes. You okay. get, um, it's evaporating constantly. Um, so when you breathe in these vapors, it's destroying your inner organs. So the last stadium is when it goes to the nervous system. And what about the people that live here? Why didn't they get? <laughs> they did get. They did. Yes. Okay. So they were quite intoxicated, especially these first miners. They were dying around 30, 40 years old. Wow. Yes. Okay. So it's, um, it was really difficult for them. Although mercury was used at that time, so 16th, 17th century, also in the medicine, to cure syphilis, skin disease, lung disease. Abraham Lincoln was taking pills with mercury. Really? So, yes. Wow, okay. He was <laughs> I, he had what? Syphilis? Depression. No. Oh, depression. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he had syphilis. Oh, great. Yeah. Okay. Not, not syphilis. Right. He was just feeling bad. So, um, so they made yes. mercury pills. Yes. And that helped him? We don't know. <laughs> okay. Probably not. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> so okay. after 500 years of mining, this is the mine today. Um, okay. It's just below the town. It is almost 400 meters deep and wow. it has 700 kilometers of tunnels. So 400 meters is what, like, uh, that's 1,200 feet. Yes. So that's like, uh, that's like four yeah. or five football fields, so it's deep. Like and is there anything else in there? It's just all open or is it all, is it just tunnels? Well, now the mine is closed because okay. mercury is no longer used in the industry. It's also okay. forbidden in the European Union to produce or to sell mercury from 2012. Okay. But our mine was um, filled up with the material, with the leftovers of the burning material. So uh, then it's also filled with concrete and with underground water that we have a lot of water. Okay. So up until this level, we have water. And here, there's five kilometers of tunnels that, um, that are still open. Right. If you visit the tourist part of the mine, you get to see one kilometer and 300 meters. Okay. 300 meters down and one kilometer lengthwise. Something like that. Okay. Uh, and are these just open chambers? No, these are different uh, geological um, sediment uh, or something. Yes. Okay. So it's the tunnel is, you go down in a crane or something? or? Yes. You have like a shaft and a tunnel. So this is just dissection of a certain part. So you cannot, you cannot see everything. But you get like a shaft that goes until the sun, some deep, or here, for instance, this one. Mm -hmm. And then you have like a main tunnels that are called horizons. You get okay. up to 15 horizon. But in between these horizons, you have tunnel one above the other. Uh. Um, so this is where the whole mine is hidden. But these red spots represent the place where mercury could still be found. Hmm. And they don't use, didn't they use mercury to separate gold or something too? Yes. Most of the mercury was used for so-called amalgamation. It smelts all the metal except iron and platinum. So um, most of the gold was shipped to south into the middle America, into the mines of gold and silver. So when they got 
ore of gold, they put mercury on top. Mercury took all the gold, made these amalgams. They heated up the amalgams, mercury went into the air and they got pure gold or mm. silver. They made coins and shipped them gotcha. to the earth. And this is another, what are these, one of the shafts? Yes, yeah, this is just an older dissection. section, so you okay. can see the shafts and then you can see the steps. These steps, they, the miners had to walk first, the steps down, and then dig, and then back of the steps up. So. Oh. Yeah, it was a lot of work. <laughs> That's a lot of work, yeah. okay. So this is this sort of pump. Okay. Um, it's called Kamsch. Punch? Kamsch. Kamsch. Yes, it Kamsch. comes from German Wasserkunst. So here was a channel with water that came over here, rotated the wheel, the wheel was turning and pushing the pump first like this and then vertical into the ground from the depth of 283 meters. It was pumping 300 liters of water per minute. It had 100 horsepower. Wow. Um, so the diameter is 13.6 meters. I think this would be around 40 feet, something like that. Okay. So we just pump the water out yes. so that they get to the mercury. Yes, so that okay. the water was in a way for the miners. There is always water inside, so they had to get it out so that they could dig. Gotcha. Huh, okay. So this castle was built from 1522 to 1533. In that time, this area was... Um, a lot of Turks were coming here. The Ottoman Empire wanted to concrete this area. So they built the castle to protect the mercury and the people who lived here. So in this castle never lived any nobility. We didn't have any count or prince or something. This is where the director of the mine stayed with his family. Um, there were engineers here, um, geologists, things like that. We also had granary for the mine, so because the miners were paid with grain, um, then they had mercury here. So here I can show you, this is the cinnabar ore, you can try how heavy it is, you will need both hands. Oh my god, I can't even lift that with one hand, it, you'd think it was like a rock, oh my god, that is heavy. Yeah. Oh. And that is like, that's, that's, that's. Mercury in a solid. Yes. Wow. That is like, that's probably heavier than, that's heavier than steel, right? Or heavier yes. than iron. Here you have iron floating on mercury. Iron, specific weight of iron is seven. So that's an iron ball. That's an iron ball. Get out of here. And that's float, and that's yes. liquid mercury. Yes. And why doesn't this hurt us? It's covered. It's it's sealed. It's sealed, yes. So it's an iron ball floating on mercury. That is amazing. Yeah. Wow. Well, the whole table's heavy. Yeah. Oh, and you can see a little bead of mercury, too. Yeah. Wow. That is a, that's an iron ball. That is, that is funny. Okay. Mm -hmm. I never would have guessed. Okay, cool. Yeah, and this is how the native form looks like. Kind of small drops in the stems. Wow. And then they have to melt it. No, this, they just washed it out. Oh, okay. Yeah. But if it's like that, they have to melt it. This, they had to melt it. Yeah. Okay, wow. Wow, that is phenomenal. I'm still kind of dumbfounded by that. That is, that is crazy. Look at that. That is, that is neat. Okay, cool. Yeah. Show me more. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go back to work. Help us. <laughs> yeah. So here you can see where you can find mines of mercury in the world. So Any in the United States? You have New Idria. Where? It's a ghost town in California. Oh. New Idria, yes. named after here? Yes. Really? Yeah. Wow, okay. I didn't know that. And that's the only one? Yeah, this, there's another one as well. New Idria Amadi. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so um, I can show you just one more thing. Okay. <laughs> okay, <laughs> thank you so much. Um, Men were allowed to work. So only, only men. Yes, so no women, children, or animals.
animals. Okay, or animals. <laughs> uh, and sometimes they use horses. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Okay, and I can just show you something, then you can come back and have a look. I can come back and look, right, right, right. So these paintings, they were painted by the women who lived here in the Baroque time. Oh, on the 17, walls. 1715, yes. They wow. had a park outside, and they desired to have a nicer view, so they commissioned the paintings. Uh, they were restored around 30. Wow, it's such a, I saw it on the web, that's what made me come here. Yeah. It's because I love castles, but yeah, yes. that's amazing, I love that. Wow, so they just painted all this by hand just so they could have a nicer place yes. to view. They oh. had three big trees growing here in the courtyard, and wow. yes, that is amazing. down in the shadows. Cool, okay. <laughs> so here you have a tower, and you can go down the steps. And there you will see a glass cube with drops of mercury inside. Okay, I'll let you get back to work. Thank you so much. Here you go with the map and the guide and everything. I'll go to lunch. <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate all the information. Follow. Wow. Wow, so she was wonderful. <laughs> Great information. So that's just down here and here's some of the incredible things they have in the drills and the tour parts and all that stuff. And then here is that thing she was talking about. I mean, the little cars that they used, and what an incredible place. It's mercury trapped in glass. Wow. Phenomenal. Wow. And look at the cables. I'm telling you, that little rock was heavier than I can tell you. Oh my God. I had no idea, actually. Cool. Okay, well, um, and there's just tons of pictures down here and the lanterns they used to use and I mean it really is just a huge museum about mining mercury here in um, this town. And you know, it's funny, I came to see the castle, <laughs> not realizing that uh, the whole town was a World UNESCO Heritage Site, the second largest uh, um, mercury deposit in the world. Wow. And I didn't even know that they had a place in um, California named after here, which is kind of interesting. Incredible stuff, everybody. Okay, bye. Okay, and so they have a lot of paintings done by the women that couldn't work, I guess. Look at that, isn't that amazing? Amazing, amazing, amazing. Wow, there, it just goes, it's just a huge castle full of information, so. Wow. Wow. Huh. Okay, everybody. Well, come to this place. It's, it's absolutely incredible. Um, you have to watch this. It's pretty amazing. So this place, this town I've come to, it's the castle of Gorkin in Gig, Egg, and uh, and I came to see the castle because the castle looks amazing, and uh, but that's really not what's important here. What's important here is that this is the largest or second largest mercury deposit in the world. But here's some things about mercury that are crazy. So I'm going to show you this little quick video, and then you can watch the other one. The tour guide walks me through for minutes and minutes and minutes and tells you all about the whole stuff. So here's part of it. This rock, this is this is mercury. I cannot. I can't lift that. And I'm a pretty strong man. I mean, if that was a rock, even if that was a piece of lead, I could pick that up easy. But that's not the important part. This is the important part that is just simply silly. So you see that ball? That's a lead ball, like shot out of a cannon kind of lead. And you know what that is? That's a pool of mercury. See this little mercury dot? Watch this. You shake the... I know, get, get excited, Eric. So that's a whole bowl full of mercury and that's a lead ball floating in the mercury. Is that? 
you can't tell me that's just phenomenal. Wow, 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 wow. Watch the video. Okay, this is the third floor. So there's, it's a pretty big exhibit, but I wanted to bring you in here just because I kind of like motorcycles. And it's kind of interesting seeing this one. I've never seen anything like that. I like the suspension too, how trippy is that? Amazing. Anyway, so again, this is the third floor. And there is just a ton about this place. It's really well documented about the whole, the whole situation and the uprising and the war that came through here. Even the money. Wow. A KTM bicycle. Now that's interesting. I've got KTM motorcycles all day long, but never a KTM bicycle. So that's cool. Looks like I guess you can't see it with the glare, but pretty amazing. <laughs> I love the outside of this or the inside courtyard, the outside. There's a sun. Oh, maybe. Aha. Uh -huh. It's not a window, is it? Okay. Who found Mercury? He did. Okay. It really is huge, and it really is very informative about uh, all this stuff. Oh, and here's the the needlework too. That's kind of the uh, lace. That's what she calls it, the lace. How they make lace? Huh? Anybody want to know how they make lace? That's what she called that thing as a bobbin. Oh my gosh. This makes crocheting look uh, almost like child's play. <laughs> Jeez. Look at that. Could you imagine doing a lace with that? Think about every one of those. Oh my, and there's more. <laughs> Yeah, holy crap, okay. All right, I'm going. Bye, everybody. I'm just gonna do a little quick clip. So if you wanna see the whole video, you have to watch it. This is how they make lace. You see all these little bobbins? So instead of yarn having knit one, purl two, you know, up, down, whatever, one, one string, or maybe multiple strings, this has like, <laughs> I guess lace is pretty, like 5,000 strings. But uh, this whole place, I guess this is where they founded a lot of lace. So watch the video, bye. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is just mind boggling, thinking about what went involved to make that little piece of lace. See that lace right there? And this is the old Ajira way. This is the name of this little town. They had to do it with all those bobbins and all those lines. Oh my God, <laughs> that is phenomenal. I mean, there's, there's tons of these little examples of them and how they do, I, I can't even imagine people, can't even come close. Wow, because it looks complicated. Are there really that many bob bobbins is what you call them? Yes. 
in those things? How long does it take them to make a, like a dress? Oh, hours, thousands of hours. Thousands of hours. Yes. Like you could spend a year doing something out of lace. Yes. And some of those things had like 50, 60, 80, 100 bobbins? Yes. Really? Yeah. But um, our technique of making it, um, it usually doesn't take this many bobbins. For instance, um, the French and the Belgium way of making it, it always takes a lot of pairs of bobbins. But we also have less. Um, it's a little bit different techniques. So okay. in Europe, uh, lace making was first in Venice, in Italy. And the bobbin lace making was then in Milano, also in Italy. And then it spread from Italy to France, Spain, Portugal, Belgium, Germany, and then it came here. A lot of families who are coming to live into our town because of the mine came from German and Czech lands. And the women knew how to make lace. So in 1686, um, we have the oldest document that it's telling that the women are making lace and selling them for money or for food. Mm -hmm. So um, they were doing it to help the family income. Mm -hmm. And then in 1876, it was uh, the school was established, the lace making school. So even today, children are going to that school. It's like an afternoon activity um, they can do. So we have around 500 children each year going to school. And in nine years, you get to learn all the techniques. Nine years. To, yes, <laughs> because you have it like uh, twice per week for one hour. So right, right. it's not like every day. Um, so wow. yes. And it just takes forever. Yes. Yes, <laughs> wow. So it developed the lace making because it's part of a fashion and as fashion is um, changing so it's also the lace making. There used to be long tracks of lace that were popular because they put them on the big dresses on the... on Because the, I saw them they had them on a roll. Yes, yes they had them on a the roll. Um, then later on in the 19th century you had like squares, triangles, uh, different Divisions. shapes. Then at the beginning of 20th century you had like um, things from the nature, like flowers, um, uh, animals, you have figures. Okay. And then um, it, it developed. So now a lot of lace is used to make like, um, like rings, like jewelry, things like that. Mm. So that, it's, that people can use it. Right, right. How do you tell a good piece of old lace versus a not so good? <laughs> well, no in Italy we have a saying: if you can hold to the lace like this, and it stands up, then it's a good lace. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. But otherwise, um, around ten percent of women here are making lace to sell them. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, they just do it for themselves. Right, right. So, and they're going to do good pieces for themselves and sell whatever. Yes. Because these uh, techniques that you can make really fast, um, it's not so cheap, it's not mm -hmm. so expensive. I can show you here. Okay. For instance, you can have this like small thing mm -hmm. for five euros. Mm -hmm. This would take like, I don't know, an hour or two to make. Okay. Yeah. Then you have a little bit bigger, it takes 10 euros. This would take two hours and a half, something like that. Cool. But then you have things that are a little bit more complicated. Um, I don't know, like these things. So it takes a little bit um, longer to make. Right, right. Yes. Wow. I didn't know anything about lace before I walked in the door, yes. so <laughs> amazing. All right. All right, well, I'll stop bugging you. Thanks again for all the information.